It's now time for Trivia Tracks with yours truly, Price Robertson. This edition of Trivia Tracks is brought to you by Washington Valley Respiratory Care, where you can breathe a little easier, and Beth Smith at Edward Jones. Edward Jones, making sense of investing, member SIPC. On July 22, 1921, shots rang out in the hills of Cumberland County, North Carolina. The sheriff and his deputies had just destroyed a liquor still when a volley of gunfire from the woods killed Deputy Alfred Pate. Three men were spotted at the site before the raid began. One of them was the owner of the liquor still, David Marshall Williams, or Marsh as he was called. He was charged and eventually pled guilty despite his claim that he was innocent. Williams had always had a talent for machinery, especially firearms. While serving out his 30-year sentence at the Caledonia State Prison Farm in Halifax County, his talent got noticed. He found work fixing farm machinery. Warden H.T. Peoples and Williams developed a relationship of mutual trust, a lot of trust. After the talented prisoner was given a job in the machine shop repairing guards' weapons, Peoples let Williams take his next step, designing guns. This is where Williams made a semi-automatic rifle that worked on the short-stroke gas piston system. A gas piston is located under the middle of a rifle's barrel. When a gun was fired, the gases from the ejected bullet exploded and propelled the piston violently to the rear. The slam of the piston initiated a slide bolt action of a gun and automatically loaded another bullet into the ejection chamber. After eight years in prison, Williams went home and started working on board designs and getting patents. The folks at the Winchester Company noticed and hired him as a weapons designer. By 1941, war was looming, and the Army had a problem. The traditional M1 rifle weighed about 10 pounds, and it was deemed too cumbersome for those who didn't fight in the front lines. They only carried handguns that were lightweight. These weapons didn't have the range or firepower needed for defense. So the Army held a competition to design a lightweight semi-automatic shoulder weapon, which Winchester intended to win by providing a lightweight carbine. It was Marsh Williams who suggested using the short-stroke piston system he developed in prison. The result was the M1 carbine. Six million were produced by 1945, at which time World War II ended. Post-war, Marsh Williams got a new nickname, Carbine. In 1952, MGM released the movie Carbine Williams, starring Jimmy Stewart. Following the movie's premiere at the Colony Theater in Fayetteville, North Carolina, Williams traveled the country, appearing where the film was shown and offering autographs and photographs. He kept designing guns well into old age, holding more than 50 patents from gun improvements. He made a small fortune and lost it again with bad investments and hard living. He died on January 8, 1975, at the age of 74. Incidentally, this icon of firearms design died the day Elvis Presley, an icon of American music, turned 40. Till next time, I'm Price Robertson. Amazed by today's trivia? Then join me every Monday through Friday morning for Trivia Tracks on Fox Sports Camden 97.1.